Hello, Rip and Ship community. Thanks to Odious Cards, we get to do a video I've wanted to do here for a while. We're doing Play Box versus Collector Box of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. These are all pre sales. They will not ship or be available for pickup until pre release day, which is April 12th. Um, we are Moonshot Games, WPN Premium, LGS, and Noblesville, Indiana. My name's Lance Cawthorn. I'm the Rip and Ship host here on the channel we're going to open the play box first so good luck to odious cards we normally stream monday and thursday 8 30 eastern time so if you would ever like to join in on our streams we'd love to have you in chat we have an awesome community nexus of becoming for big score mythic to start campbell rare just full disclosure up front chat if you want to know the mythic and rare accounts and all that stuff start counting now uh unfortunately i do not have time to do that as we do this video we're doing this during a stream magda foil rare and high noon rare and uh, we have a lot of packs to open up for a lot of people and i don't have the time to stop and count so if it's important to you make sure you're counting as we go along that way you can compare uh basically a play box versus a collector box any joins up rare if somebody wants to post it in the comments down below i'd be happy to pin that comment so that's something you can do if you'd like as well so these play boxes have seemed pretty loaded to me. Jace Reawakened Mythic. Feels like you get a ton of rares and mythics. Uh, based on the packed odds alone, more packs have two or more rares than have just one rare, which is kind of crazy to me. Colossal Rattleworm Rare. So a little less than 50% of packs only have one rare, which is just nuts. Um, but that's because you have so many bonus sheets and things going on in these packs. And Sealed Courtyard Rare. Basically, every single pack, you get one guaranteed rare or mythic. Then you have the breaking news slot, which one in three packs is a rare or mythic. You can obviously get foil rares and mythics, ornery tumble wag, which adds to that as well. Pitiless carnage for another rare. And then you have a wild card slot that in one in 12 packs, you get a rare or mythic. You also have, we're not done. There's still more chat, believe it or not. Full art forest, villainous wealth rare, Magda rare. One in five packs has a big score mythic, which has replaced the list in the set. There are 30 big score mythics. One in five packs, you get a big score mythic. Uh, Old Tech Matter Weaver, here's a big score mythic right here. An Insatiable Avarice. And that big score mythic does not replace your rare mythic from the main pack because it's what used to be the list slot. Also in that list slot, in one in 60-something packs, you get a special guest mythic. Rhinestone Mythic, Obeka Rare. So as you can see, you can get a ton of rares and mythics in these. Um, one of my first videos, I misspoke and mistakenly said that you can get the Vault Frame big scores in these. That is not true. Primal Command Rare, World Walker Helm Mythic. You can only get the normal frame big score mythics in play packs, and you cannot get them in foil, only in non-foil. Ariette the Beguiler Rare. Uh, you obviously cannot get them in raised foil if you can't get them in regular vault treatment. Uh, and you cannot get any of the textured foil big, uh, breaking news cards. Drawlf the Flesh Rite Mythic. Bruce Tarl for double rare. Um, but you can get the breaking news cards in regular foil. So if that wasn't confusing enough, now you know. Uh, but wow, these packs have been loaded. Vadmir, New Blood. Just a ton of rares and mythics. Honestly, in the two boxes I've counted, you get more rares and mythics out of a play box. We got over 60 rares and mythics in both the boxes I've counted so far. Great train heist rare. So y'all can let me know in the comments if that's the case here. Collector boxes are easy. You get five rares or mythics per pack. Uh, there's no counting you have to do. It's exactly 60 rares and mythics per box. Annie Flash, the veteran wanted poster. Very cool. Love that poster art. Uh, and that poster art does replace a regular rare or mythic, or can at least. So you can get a poster with just one rare or mythic. Uh, Fell the Mighty Rare and Fibble Thip lost on the range. But overall, I think, uh, I think as long as you don't care about the super flashy foil variants, play boxes might be. What you're looking for contagion engine mythic molten duplication big score mythic and pillage the bog for a three or a pack if you just want a bunch of cards to be able to play magic obviously if you want blingy variants all the fun stuff a chance of those textured foils uh terror of the peaks mythic great reprint hit congrats on that 
if you want all the flashy versions of stuff, the collector packs are still the way to go. Bling. Indeed. Terror of the Peaks is a good one. Electric Dominance, Kervik Rare, but the Bling is in the collector packs. Um, and when we get to the collector box, we'll talk about the Bling that happens in those. But uh, overall, I think the set's going to be really wild to draft. Dust Bowl Rare, Dust and Mist Rare. You're going to see a lot of rares and mythics getting passed around the table. More so than normal, which honestly in Arena is kind of cool. Because it uh, helps you complete your collection faster. Unlicensed Hearst Rare, Wily Duke for a double rare pack. I mean, this rare and mythic stack is just getting huge over here. And uh, we still have this one and two more packs in the middle column of the box. Nowhere near done yet with the play box. Vraska joins up rare. But, yeah, I think uh, either way you go, there are just a lot of really powerful looking cards in this set. Back for more foil, essence capture, and Archmage's Newt rare. And uh, I'm, I have a question that maybe y'all can help me with in the comments. I've seen people go both ways on this, and I want to know what the overall sentiment is. Ooh, special guest mythic, morbid opportunist. So getting that one in 60 something pack chance. The art on these is beautiful. Uh, some of the cards aren't worth a ton, but man, that art is stellar. Blooming Marsh Borderless and Vraska the Silencer Mythic. What a pack. Um. So here's the question. Let me know in the comments down below. If you would like the uh, the thing they've been doing lately, Turper Orb Mythic and Kellen joins up, you have all these cards like Holy Cow, Shoot the Sheriff, uh, fun flavor text, references to pop culture. Do y'all like that? Fortune Little Steed Full Rare, Three Steps Ahead Rare, or do you think it takes you out of the magic scene too much? I personally like it. I think it's cool. So I think all those references are neat and give us something fun to talk about. Uh, hell to pay rare. Like the, the uh, what's the word for the sayings? You can tell me what the word for sayings is in the chat too. Like the, uh, the common sayings that people say. Uh, like holy cow. Siphon insight rare. Lila rare. I think that stuff's fun to see in magic. Um, but I think there's some more serious players who don't like it iron blood says i love it lore doesn't mean anything to me i guess that's probably another thing right rakdos joins up rare the people who love the lore and want it to be a really lore heavy really good lore probably don't like it as much um but maybe the people who just want to have fun playing the game like it caustic bronco foil rare inspire bluff canal rare those uh fast lands have been fun reprints as well gotta move this big stack of commons and uncommons out of the way before i knock it over down to our probably last six or so play packs here uh have get raw gravenous ride mythic don't forget oh there it is holy cow after uh if after it passed by the rancher swore she saw hope shining in the pig's eyes that maybe one day too they could fly uh, so a point that was brought up, we're recording this live on our live stream, Bedlam Reveler Rare, Valborn Tyrant, Big Score Mythic, and Free Strider Lookout Rare. Um, it's been peppered in throughout the sets. Too much humor would be too similar to the unsets. I think that's a, a legit take. And I guess the question is, is what they put in this set too much? Collective Defiance Rare, Duelist of the Mind Rare, or is this like right on the good side of the line, right? But, I mean, with Universes Beyond coming into Magic, I think they're willing to start crossing that line a little bit more than they used to. Serific Steed Rare. For a long time, it was very serious Magic only. And it's changed a lot since then. So two packs left. If y'all are enjoying this, we'd definitely appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Come hang out in our live stream Monday or Thursday, 8.30 Eastern Time. Simulacrum Synthesizer Mythic. Ty Joaquin Rare. Um, I'm going to cut the video real quick while I sleeve up and put away this play box, and then we'll be right back with the collector box for Odious cards, and we can compare which of the two you think is a better value. Void Rend Rare, Blooming Marsh Rare, and another round for a triple rare pack to end it. Look at this stack of rare mythics, chat. This all came from one play box. Kind of wild. So we'll see how it compares in just a second. Thanks to YouTube Magic, we're now on to the collector box. Somebody was, a couple people were counting in our live stream, Mizzy and Mox Knight, I believe it was. 
And uh, they said it was 16 or 17 mythics in that play box. We didn't get a rare count, but uh, y'all can let us know down in the comments below if that's correct. I think it's probably ballpark, right? Let's see how this uh, collector box goes for odious cards. Best of luck for you. So these, what you're chasing in this slot right here is the big slot. Concealed Courtyard, Borderless Foil, Siphon Insight, Stella Lee, Borderless Mythic, Smuggler Surprise, and Omen Path Journey, Big Score Mythic. You're chasing two huge pulls that you're trying to hit in these collector packs. And they're both in that first slot behind the token. On the breaking news sheet, there are 15 Mythics. There's a 1% in these packs that you get a textured foil version of that mythic stinger back tear extended foil mind break trap mythic that's a pretty big one back in town wanted posters satoru the infiltrator and fibblethip lost on the range the other one is a big score raised foil mythic there are five of the 30 mythics that come in raised foil and those show up in less than one percent of packs in my experience so far it's been about one per master case or less skull track foil rare Detention Sphere, Sand Scout, Obeka Extended, and Fortune Loyal Steed. Now, obviously, I've not opened enough packs to be statistically significant, but that means at least one and it takes at least 288 collector packs to hit the Vault Raised Foil. So, pretty tough. Esoteric Duplicator Extended Foil Mythic, Decimate, Forger's Foundry Extended, Fibblethip Lost on the Range, and the Gitraw Gravenous Ride Foil Mythic. Another important note on these collector packs is that you can get the commander cards in them there is a slot dedicated to commander rares and mythics you cannot get those at all in the play packs final showdown extended mythic instant board wipe pretty cool pariah this is the commander slot right here discrete retreat extended marchesa extended and botanical sanctum so if you want the commander rares and mythics and you're not getting the decks the only way you can get them are the collector packs. You can no longer get them. Well, you never could get them in play packs. You used to be able to get them in set packs, but they are not in play packs. Oil Lila, Abrupt Decay, Leyline Dowser Extended, Collector's Cage, Vault Frame, Big Score Mythic. These Vault Frames are only available in collector packs. They come in this non-foil, regular foil, and then those five come in the raised foil. And Slick Shot Show Off Rare. So we're halfway done with the box, moving on to the second half. If y'all enjoy this content, would definitely appreciate you subscribing to the channel. That way you get to view our early box openings of the newest sets. So here is in regular foil. This is not vault frame raised. If it was, you'd see the gilded foiling on these gold parts of the border. Generous Plunderer Mythic from the Big Score. Fell the Mighty. Bounty Board Extended. Serific Steed Extended. And Rest in Peace Big Score Foil Mythic. Now in Standard, believe it or not. Not that a ton of people are playing Standard these days, but... They're definitely uh, trying to make it come back, that's for sure. I would like it to come back. Ariette the Beguiler Foil Rare, Pest Infestation, Tower Winder Extended, Botanical Swarm Borderless, and Duelist of the Mine. So we're getting close to the end of this collector box. We have four more packs, so be thinking about what you saw in the play box and what you thought in the collector box, and let me know which one you think has better value. Taiwa Keen Foil Extended, Reanimate. Arcane Heist Extended, Bristly Bill Extended Mythic, and Malcolm the Eyes. Keep in mind, a collector box is more expensive than a play box. They are not an even thing. So it's not like you could buy one or the other with the same amount of money. A collector box probably costs about $100 more or so than a play box. Caustic Bronco Foil, Roll Ultimatum, Thunderclap Drake, Stingerback Terror, and Oko the Ringleader Foil Mythic. Pretty cool. Uh, down to our last two packs. Really do appreciate the opportunity to open this up for you, Odious Cards. And I appreciate the opportunity for all y'all to hang out with me and see this. Magic's really fun. Wow. Foil Mind Break Trap. That's sick. Prime Punishment for another Mythic. Paretic Charge. Wily Duke Extended. And Pitiless Carnage. Uh, channel would not be here without y'all. So we really do appreciate the awesome community y'all built. Really positive group of Magic people. And uh, it's really a pleasure to see that on the internet where it's not always so positive. So thank you all so much. Had the Exile Foil Rare, Electro Dominance, Dream Thief Bandana, Old Tech Matter Weaver, Vault Frame, Big Score Mythic, and Annie joins up. So, which was better, Play Box or Collector Box? Let us know in the comments down below.